Hello there, everyone. Welcome back to Hearts of Iron 4 No Step Back DLC, in which we're playing as that good old Soviet Union led by Mr. Mr. Nikolai. But right now, uh, we're still fighting in Afghanistan, of course. We are still at war with the Turks, but even though I set up a little bit of an evil invasion, using tanks to invade Turkey, which is honestly probably a really, really, really bad idea. But we're going to try it out and test it out, see what happens anyways. But uh, i got some comments to go through. Actually, quite a few comments to go through. And have a good time with it. So let's do that already. We're still at peace with those German boys, which is fine for now. Eventually, we do want to go to war with them. I think that'd be a good idea. So, all right. And currently, we are doing cohesion first, so we can improve our military, or at least our army. Uh, the last thing we needed to do in this situation is reduce our standards. Anyone who wants to serve in the military is welcome, but they will serve in existing units and train to proper military standards and followed up with rehabilitated military. Let's go now that the close watch we've kept on the military was perhaps a little overzealous. While perfectly justified in peacetime, during the war we should let the professionals make judgments based on military situation, not based on political considerations. It's time to rein in the political officers a bit and give the commanders a bit more latitude on how to run things. Absolutely. Followed up with adaptable military? Sure, why not? Well, that's not too bad either. But let's do this one first. The war is stretching across several climate zones and many varied terrains. We must be able to find every terrain, no matter the weather, we want to win this war. Absolutely. So we do have plenty of fuel. You guys, go ahead and just do this. Join your own group here. Um, there's not really much we can do about it. This is going to probably die pretty quickly, but whatever. There you go. Do that. See what you can do. If we get bombed, well, then we get bombed. But yeah, I don't want to go to war with these guys. Apparently, Germany went to war with the Japanese faction, so that's why they're killing off Italy pretty quickly. And also, let's see, France is quite communist. So, that's not bad. That's really nice, actually. Oh, hello. Oh, convoy there, huh? Oh, do they actually have soldiers there? Oh, my goodness. The AI is actually defending. Hmm. Wow. I mean, I'd love to invade here to here to here to come down here, but... We'll see what happens. If not, we'll probably go to war with the Germans first, honestly. Because these guys were planning earlier to attack us. They did attack us a little bit, too. So... Kind of dumb. I'm just waiting for the Germans to go to war with the Allies, which unfortunately we can't see what they're up to. But maybe we can help out with the NKVD and get some more encryption, decryption, all that sort of good stuff. Uh, let's see anything else over here. Anything over here. No, 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 no. Uh, oh, nothing there. All right. Panzer expert for you. Yeah, makes sense. Machine assisted encryption, very nice. And let's go with civilian and economy as the Brits and their allies are trying to kill off our divisions in Afghanistan. <sighs> Gotta love it. Uh, let's see, Gobi Desert. Oh, all the way over there. That's pretty good. But we do need a supply base down here as well. Which we hopefully are trying to make. Hopefully. Oh, we got the Sephardon. Nice. There you go. Yeah, well, I think one of the issues just for Russia in general, or the Soviet Union, is that they, they just don't have enough industry yet. They need a lot of industry to do well. And we just don't have that right now. Which kind of sucks. But we're still winning in Afghanistan, which is really nice. The Communist Chinese are still doing okay in China. And let's take a look here. Helen Mundi, not bad. Actually, you want to help. We've done a lot of that Polish resistance. Oh, hello. Oh, look at that. I don't know why it's still so high here. I mean, yeah, they're poles and such, but still. It's a bit ridiculous how high the resistance is. Ah, uh, but anyways. Over here, close to Thank you. Anything over here? No, no, no. Shooting down a lot of enemy or allied stuff. That's not bad. And how are we going, doing over here? We doing okay? Yeah. The AI definitely, I think, got a little smarter uh, with the No Step Back DLC, I would say. They actually know when to defend, when to do stuff sometimes. Sometimes, not all the time, but sometimes. So, uh, anything else over here? Oh, uh, we could raise work factory worker militias, which is okay. Don't really need to, though. So, let's close out of that one. We have Agro Pop. Golden Idol uh, of Capitalism. Heroes forward, of course. Uh, division recovery is not bad. We get up to five leader, leaders. We'll get the determined trait for 180 days. Which is okay. Consumer goods is pretty good to do as well. If you know those factories. So we'll probably do that stuff. Supply consumption is not too bad. Pressure Afghan government. Formalize the Soviet republics of Xinjiang would be very nice. A lot of war support. Propaganda efforts. Um, political action is pretty normal. Economic policy with prospect for resources. So I think what we're going to do. I'm going to play this a little more off screen. We'll see what happens. Uh, actually, let's take a look at what France is doing. We don't know what France is doing first. Oh, and we do, we're guaranteed by them, and they're guaranteeing us. Which is pretty good, because Germany eventually will have to go down with uh, this focus right here. Strike at the source. So the top of our government. Well, I did see a tab over. I did tab over, and France, because they're going so communist, I was interested. They did go invite communist ministers, so they will force the issue eventually. But 
for now, we're doing rebuild military. We're going to keep doing our, a lot of army focuses, so with that one too. Followed up with an adaptable army, and then we'll do military organization. Our attempts to build a large mechanized army were noble, but more than we could afford. To win this war, we'll have to focus on the arms that have carried Russian armies to victory for centuries, the infantry and artillery. This will necessarily require us to disrupt the existing formations to a degree, which is fine with us. It just, it just happens, so. Eventually, we will do desperate measures, which will be ended when... Ooh, Red Army is not great, but we're working on it. Air Force sucks pretty much, too. Desperate measures. Ooh. 42? So, we'll, oh wow, that's quite a while. Of course, these are all of the National Spirits. Keep the NKVD. Of course, someone did say it in the comments below. So, overall, yeah. It's okay. Not great, but okay. Uh, Athena Battalions. During the retreats, many otherwise capable soldiers have shamed themselves by retreating before the position was lost, or by otherwise acting against the good conduct of our army. But in this situation, simply imprisoning or executing them would deprive us of very capable fighters. We should form special units in which these people can redeem themselves through combat. And found the PCDI. Our armaments industry has grown very large and now requires a dedicated government office to coordinate if it is going to grow even further. We shall establish the People's Commissariat of Defense Industry and Military Engineering University. While many are proclaiming the end of the trench warfare following the development of the tank and airplane, it's clear that the military engineering still has a place on the modern battlefield. We should form an institute to study modern methods of constructing modern field fortifications. And actually, I'll do this one, because this will help in Armenia improve railway network. Our first five-year plan proved to be too successful. The massive expansion in heavy industry has left the Soviet Union in a much stronger position to defend itself, but the Soviet railway network has hit some critical bottlenecks. The People's Commissariat of Railways has an ambitious plan to close these bottlenecks and ensure that we can defend the motherland. <clears throat> a, a couple other comments included. Where's Zukov? Well, he's just kind of hanging out as a general. Um, I haven't put him as a general yet, just because... Uh, where is he? He's right here. He's up here. He's just still hanging out. Uh, someone else said, with supply issues, you use transport planes? You can? Yeah, you can use transport planes. That might be okay. That's why, but it might be better to build a supply base down here, so then we can just give this to the, to the Afghanis down here, too. Uh, someone says, get more supply in Afghanistan, keep the NKVD, and we have lots of debuffs for military, pretty much, which really sucks. Well, everybody, I knew this would happen, and the Germans have just gone to war with us, so, yeah. Oh, Hungary, Norway, oh, do Sweden, oh, do I oh, forgot about Sweden, that's not good. Um, that's really not good. Uh, is Norway in the... Hmm. I forgot about all that stuff up there. Whoops, my bad. Uh, that's okay. We're going to need a few more divisions up here then. Um. Yeah, we'll see what happens. Uh, uh, I forgot about that really badly. My bad. Um, I want to save Zukov for later, maybe. Ah, I'll use him now. Why not? Head on up here, guys, if you can. Do the best you can. And they declare war me, but their divisions are... I'm not sure where they're at. They got a lot of manpower. They got, I mean, it's a German industry. They got a lot of divisions, so... Um, we're doing okay here in Turkey. Uh, we've, it's been definitely a mixed bag. We've, I guess, gotten our territory back, which is really nice, though. And we're still defending here, but, you know, no one really cares about Afghanistan anymore. Um, I did send some tanks over here, too, but... They declared war on us, so I'm like, well... Doesn't look like they got that many divisions on the border, so... Yeah! And if we can cut them off, it'd be so good, too. Oh, also, the French did go communist... Uh, led by Torres, I believe they did actually go down the reconciliation path. So we'll see what happens. They can either go loyalty to Moscow, which I hope they do, or anti fascist coalition. We just don't know what they're doing, so. Yeah, we'll see what happens. Come on, cut them off. Keep these guys in place. Don't let them move. Do not let them move. And we probably don't have air superiority here. It's definitely mixed air. We just don't have enough of an industry to do very much here. As you can tell, they're definitely trying to do stuff here, too, so. America? Yeah? Yeah. Now, Christian packs? Uh oh. Uh, they're still trying to invade the Ukraine, which sucks too, but whatever. Um, oh, Luxembourg, Denmark. Yeah. Hello. Oh, wow, look at this. We lost some subs. Oh, well, that's not too bad. German operative captured. Oh, and happy 42, everybody. It's, it's now 1942, and we're still doing adaptable army, so. Um, can you guys actually go in? We could, we really could use you, so. Honestly, I love it. I love the Germ that the Germans went to war with us. And they didn't guard their border, so. I am A-OK -okay with this. Oh, oh god, look at that fleet. Jesus Christ. Our subs suck anyway, so I'm not really too concerned about them. Um, I'm gonna guess, that's fine. I'm gonna guess your packs. I'm gonna regret that later, but whatever. Just walk to Berlin, I guess? Oh yeah, let the tanks just go into. Actually, I should have said the tanks over here too, but whatever. I'd rather take as much German territory as possible first. Uh, who's considered a major? Just Germany? Sweden as well. Actually... Yeah, let's get rid of Germany first. British operative captured, very nice. Can you just literally one more naval XP? Just one more, please. Just one more. Also, we lost a lot of ships. Huh. Yeah. Where are you guys at? Oh, you're all the way... Oh, my gosh. Yeah, you guys go... Let's go home. Um... Anything else? No? Okay. 
Oh, this guy did get quite a few more things here. Officer Corporal, a capital ship expert. That's not bad. Decisive battle chief of the Navy. Uh, sure, we'll choose that one because I don't think I've chosen that one before yet. And you guys, we lost all the ships in the Black Sea too. <laughs> yeah, we lost some down here. Oh, we probably want to stop attacking, honestly. Hold. Because you were going to get counterattacked immediately. Um, actually, taking out those tanks is not a bad idea for so. Yeah, there you go. Not bad, not great. Overall, like, I love that the Germans attacked us. Hungary's joined. Oh, no, not the Hungarians. Anything but the Hungarians. The Netherlands. Oh, not the Dutch. Oh, no. I love it when democracy declares one of the communists. They're up out here, too. Nice. Not bad. The f oh, oh. Wait, hold on. They joined the Czech Entente. Oh, they're fighting the Czech Entente as well. Okay, so they take Paris. We take Berlin. Overall, not too bad. I think it was a pretty good trade. Uh, how many ships do we lose? A couple. Oh, just single sub. Five German convoys. Not bad. Keep up the pressure. Keep up the pressure. They, they can't replace whatever they're losing, hopefully. How bad are we losing in Turkey right now? Um, we're actually not doing too badly. You guys should... Could still maybe win here. So... Not bad. Not too shabby. That's a lot better than I thought it would be. So, um, over here. Yeah, actually, we're still trying to build up a supply base, but hey, we have a roads connected, which actually helped out quite a bit. We're going to help build more roads and build more millies, because we are still nowhere near where we really should be. So, we're still building up some more civvies. Also, we did go to total mobilization, just because we need it. And we did raise up to limited conscription. And we did get women in the workplace, so that'd be good as well. Anti capitalist campaign against the US against the most industrialized de democratic country in the world. So I didn't realize when I clicked this earlier that it's just only against one country, which kind of sucks. So, greeting to the fighters against fascism. Accomplish a high yield would be very nice as well. More weapons, never hit a hammer. Victory is at hand. We get more attack and division speed. Yeah, why not? Let's do that one. Accomplish a high yield, might as well too. Free patriotic war. Rush for, oh, rush for Berlin. Well, that's kind of cool. You get a uh, three uh, game. Oh, we should do that one earlier. I don't, I don't realize that. Oh, maybe next time. Next time. We're going to play with Trotsky. Remind me to do that one. Um, we did try to do the proposed mineral prospection in southern communist China. Well, apparently they rejected us, so I'm feeling a little dejected from them. Oh, look at all this green. Just do what we need to do. Just brute force it. Actually, can you brute force it? Oh, you can't. Can um, it is 42. Honestly, that's not too bad. I'm enjoying what we're doing here. I don't want to go over the check on top for now, but we'll see what happens. Yeah, we're... They're divisions. Oh, look. Oh, my goodness. We can circle 19. I didn't even pay attention to what we were doing here. Nice. Oh, so beautiful. Oh, there are two tank divisions, 16 infantries, and one uh, mountaineers. This is probably... Where the heck are you going, son? I mean, I guess we got the nice mountains and stuff over there, but still, bro. Adaptable army is very nice. Even though we already have, we still have the debuffs from uh, military organizations. Oh, we had that for a while. We still don't have lessons of war, so. Experts in camouflage would be very nice. Even more max attrition. But we did do peanut battalions. We'll do that one next. And experts in camouflage. To achieve and maintain the element of surprise, we must make absolutely sure that the enemy does not spot our troop positions or movements until it's too late. Every soldier must be trained in the art of camouflage. Absolutely. Oh, Königsberg is a frontline city, the Yalta Conference. With the war against Germany marching towards its inevitable conclusion, Czechoslovakia has approached us about a conference on the future of Europe. They're suggesting a division of Germany between East and West. This would make or allow our sphere of influence to extend deep into Europe, which would make us some for some of the losses we have suffered in this gruesome struggle. West Germany versus East Germany. Uh, as much fun as that sounds, honestly, at this point, we just have to fight the Allies. So if we get these guys under us, we get Norway, we can, we can still invade the Allies. For the sake of lasting cooperation. I've never done the Yalta Conference, but... Um, and this is just between us and the Czechs. Honestly, it makes more sense for us to do that one. We need to get close. Very, very close. To... Uh, as close as possible to the UK. We have to nearly invade them, which is going to suck, 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 suck. But... It is what it is. Honestly, we're doing great. And we can probably still take them out. Village Vadina, that's fine for now. Hey, convoys, nice. Do we win here? Königsberg? Come on, guys, go in. Everyone, let's have fun in Königsberg. It's party town. Party, party, party town. Um, with this one, we capture more factories. I don't really know what to do with them sometimes. We need more light tanks, which our light tanks suck. We should make some better tanks. We really should. Basic chassis, basic light tank chassis. Just close out of all the stuff. Light tank chassis. Um, 
We're just using these guys. I, I completely neglected all my tanks, so it's not really good to do that, but get more of that. Get more bombers. Get a lot more naval bombers. Oh my god, we need so many naval bombers. It's not funny. Um, it is 42. Better logistics as well. I mean, we're doing great. I love it. I love it. I knew they would go to war with us eventually. I was keeping an eye on how they were doing, so. Oh, are you guys done? Oh. Oh, whoops. We... Uh oh Oh, we did get him back. So basically, no one won anything. We just killed each other off a whole bunch here. That kind of sucks, bro. You actually should be able to win there, though. Uh-oh. Well, that's not good. Ooh, we sunk some convoys. Nice. Hey, look at that. Better tank stuff? Why not? Nice. And we should have enough time to deploy a few more big daddies here. They're not really big daddies, but they're still daddies. Zukov. Um, become a winter expert. Why not? Oh, crap. That's not good. <laughs> Are there only three top? Oh, there's four. That's not good. That's really not good. Lost a sub or two. Yeah, we're going to be making a big navy. Hopefully here soon enough. Um, how much more do we need to take these guys out? Because Sweden is not... God dang it. Not that much more. Which is good. Good, 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 good. I think the goal will probably take out the allies. How... Huh. Is UK the last one? Yeah, as long as we take out the UK. Oh, the Raj? Oh, God, no. Hey! Good job, guys. We got rid of them. Um, we got to go to war these guys and go to war these guys. That's fine. Take out the Benelux. That'd be nice. You guys over here, take out the Hungarian daddies. If you possibly can. Victory Parade? Well, that's nice. Take of war. And you guys are great here, too. So, actually, I'm going to race you guys up to here as well. That would be good. As long as you guys can sort of hold the line up there. Sort of-ish. Nice. Oh. Let's get some destroyers. we not getting all of our rubber. Oh, France. Straight for one more here. This is turning out very nicely, actually, for us. I love it. Look at all the stuff we're building here. So, supply-wise. Oh, they're still invading us. Oh, that's not good. I'm glad I looked at that. <laughs> Um, supply-wise, honestly, not too bad. I mean, obviously, Afghanistan is a big old suckerino, but we're building a supply base. It's fine. Uh, we built some roads up here. Mm, supply's not too bad. If we have to build anything else, I would probably advise that we build this. A radar station around here, and maybe a radar station in Finland-ish, followed up with... Honestly, I'd rather get more fuel for ourselves, but I do want to build up more industry, so get one thing of fuel. And really, just I'm doing it for rubber. War bonds... Go ahead, do that, it's fine. Good. Not bad. Not bad. Vasily's doing a pretty good job. Oh, and we're just flooding through there. Oh, what do we have here? East Germany, liberate this. Our goal will make it cheaper to break in the peace conference. Should I have... Or should we have puppets? God, these both suck so much. Honestly, I don't even... Make this. We got, we're going to research a lot. After this one, actually, as much as, much as we want to do that one, I think we need some real research slots here. National Academy of Sciences, time for peace. Uh, research. Slots. Research bonus slots. Uh, tap it over, tap it over. Leningrad Polytechnical Institute. Oh, yeah. That's not bad. So go down there, and then just immediately go down here. Oh, that's not bad. Yeah, we'll go to Leningrad Polytechnical Institute. So found the PCDI is next. Um, you're not bad. I think there'll be one more episode after this because we we'll probably take out the, the allies in a single episode, maybe. Yeah, we probably can. Oh look, solution humanism, but we can't go down that route. Okay, interesting, nice. So it's good to see where you can go or end up going. So, uh, oh look, and they're attacking us once again. Good job, Yak Yakov. Yakov, nice job, Yakov, nice job. They love it invading us. Oh look, the Czechs are here too. We might take out the Czechs. We'll see what happens. We'll see. No guarantees. How are you losing up here? We doing okay? Supplies are probably really got off us, right? Did we lose our supply base already? Did I make a supply base up here? Oh, I did. No, that's just railroads. I did not make a supply base. Sometimes when I play, when I play so many campaigns, I just cannot remember what I've done in the past. So Transylvania, that's fine. Oh, there goes Hungary. There goes Belgium. Goodbye. So who's? Sweden. Sweden. Passive defense, not bad. Cool. Nice. Just keep sending... Just keep sending them over there, I guess. 
uh, over here. Let's come over here. Indian operatives, very cool. Uh, I might just recommend you go to Copenhagen. I would love to go to Copenhagen someday. Then again, Denmark isn't a real country, so. Gotta do that too, because we need more aluminum. Not bad. Not bad at all. Let's get a little penal. And actually, since you're here, do this anyways. Because the UK will invade. We all know that they will. So better prepare for them just in case. Oh, and you know what? I was correct. They're literally trying to cut, they're trying to cut off all of our divisions. Are you kidding me, bro? Bro. 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 No. Bro. That's so dumb. Stetton is a capital now. I knew they would do that. I knew they would. Can you guys actually just move fast enough to get it? Oh, nice job, guys. Nice job. Oh, there goes Denmark. Nice. Anything here? Not really. Can you actually win here? That'd be awesome if you could. Alright, so we actually got up here fast enough. That's good. And go in. Peanut battalions are nice. Let's go with a PCDI. If you want to read this again, please go right ahead. Nice. Oof. That was close. We almost got cut off from supply. Ah! Peanut battalions. We can't delete them. Darn it. Okay, what happened here? I think it takes controls here. Just shove them over to be garrison units. We don't really need them, honestly. Savannah, it's fine. Are they, oh. Ah, that's smart. If you guys could go in and try it, that's fine with me. Still winning there somewhat, so that's not bad. Stetten. Um, how is everything else? We're going to need raise the conscription level as well. Lappy's fine. The Seema's not bad. Vesa M's. They require a Finnish invasion. The Latvian independent SSR. The Soviet gateway to Western Europe has today proposed a plan to invade Finland on behalf of the Soviet Union. August uh, Kehenstein's claims that a Finnish invasion would be invaluable to inner joint effort to spread the revolution across Europe and would open more opportunities for expansion once the Finnish government has been dism dismantled, inspired. I mean, they're already dead. Okay, I like your enthusiasm. Don't get me wrong. I love their enthusiasm. How's Afghanistan looking? Could be a lot worse. Actually, can you actually win here? I kind of did convert some divisions to Romanians. Romanians, no. Um, Mountaineers. <laughs> Romanians. Romanian is a special type of division. Never forget that. Oh, hello. Not bad. Not bad. If you can actually get a break over there, that'd be great. Um, I'm not sure where to send these guys right now. Just give me a surround to Czechoslovakia? I don't know. We'll see. We never. I don't trust anybody here, so. Tank-wise, I want to send them up here, but supplies are so bad, we probably don't want to. So, oh, actually, you know what? Come back over here. There you go. This, this will work out quite well for us. You guys still holding out against some Turk boys? They got some serious tanks in that pay. Yeah, that's where I put a lot of the Mountaineers here. Thinking that would be, I think that might be even supply base. What do we have over here? Um, ooh, theater sh training. I'm renewed advisor costs and more defense. I want more attack, honestly. I want bold attack. For the navy, uh, nighttime fighting, naval hit chance, torpedo hit chance, brave commanders. Chance to score a critical hit. That sounds like it would be really busted with subs. Let's do that one. And. 20% chance is so low. I don't want to do that. Uh, Iron sides. New Admiral starts with a chance. That's not really good. And Navy Intel to others. 20% uh, chance is so low. It's so low, though. Oh, oh, thank God we got rid of disparate measure. Oh, and these guys are invading too. It's fine. You guys should do okay here regardless, but we'll see. You actually win there. That's nice. Good. I mean, that's fine for now. You guys can help out in Ghent, too. Come on, just break over, break over. Come on, just a little bit more. Just a little bit more. Nice. Uh, do we have any more air we can do here? Fighters, yes. 
Do we have any casts? Oh, we got plenty. Oh, quite a few more fighters. I like that. Do we have any casts at all to help them out? I completely forget which army I sent over here to help them out. Which army is this? Okay, so you're Boris. Boris! There we go. That might just be the slight sliver we need to help out. Strikes? Oh, gonna about that. Let's go ahead. We get strikes in the Soviet Union? What the heck is this? Oh, crap. Come on, guys. We're so close. Nice. Where are they going? I fall of Oh! Good job, French Commune. Good job. Oh, now they're attacking us, too, huh? Actually, if you keep going in, you, you'll be able to win there. Hold out. Slovenia is fine. So sad. We'll probably do a naval invasion. We don't have that many ships, though. Hmm. Ukraine, constantly getting invaded. Yeah, pretty normal. Starving. Are we losing? Better not lose here. These guys are starving, though. And they're going to be reinforced, too, so. Not too worried about that one. Can you guys actually win here? It'd be great. No, no, no. Go this way. No, no, no. Ah! Well, actually. It's not too bad, either. Wow, we lost a lot of PP, didn't we? Quite a bit of PP. Except for this one. Uh, yeah, we just need one of these. So, research slot, military engineering university would be good. Or this one? No, you need the means of wage war. So, we'll do it definitely this one, too. So, if you want to reread that one, please go right ahead. Overall, not bad. Germany was really easy to beat, which is really nice, but still. Alright, so with you guys, now you want to hold out. Oh, uh, well. At least you guys. Easy. Hold. These guys can move. You guys go right there. Not bad. Look at that. 80%, not bad, not bad. Three. Going in there, why not? You can pop right there too. You just go right there anyways. Might as well. <clears throat> what are casualties like? Oh, we broke over. We broke over. We lost a lot of guys. Holy crap. Let's get some poles. Oh, we broke over. That's so good. Just don't lose your position. Actually, if anything, just go right there. Bro, just take two divisions. Go over there. You'll be fine. Tank wise, you could easily get in a circle there, so just kinda hang out here. Nice. Sweden's gonna die, and we will have them under wraps in control. What's the next research done? Oh my goodness. Okay, yeah. The French Communists recognize that she must band together with fellow socialist worlds, or fellow socialists, to strengthen the place of communism in the world. Accepting our leading role under the international apply of worker, the French now request to form an inter alliance with us. Nah. Oh! Yeah, they leave. They leave. Good. Great. Now that's a nice common turn. Now we could probably beat the crap out of the trick on top, but then again, I don't want to go to North America, so that's not bad. And I guess they, they did abandon the uh, popular front during the common turn. Oh, are we fighting the Japanese then? Oh god, I hope not. Are yeah, they fighting these guys? Yeah. And America. What is America up to? As long as we have to fight those guys, that's why I put some guys there. Um, let's see. Japanese? No. 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 Not interested right now. Not interested. Can you actually push in here? You know what? If we can't, I we will. So, not bad. They just love attacking this little tile there. See what we can do about that. You guys go over there. You go there, 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 there. Overall, we should be able to win here in Sweden. It's not too bad. Oh, they're attacking like crazy. And we will raise the conscription level because it's looking really bad. Ashkabad. Not bad. Getting actual supply base here would be very, very good. So we have some civvies, so we have millies, Professor M's. Looking pretty good, so we can hopefully destroy any ships. Uh what happened here? Why is Sweden over here? Uh well, this is why I made sure we can do this. Alright, well whatever. Move even faster then. Oh, you're infantry specialist, huh? Plastic explosives, there you go. Okay, well whatever. That sucks, bro. Well, since you're here, anyways. Wait, did they did they get out of our faction already? They might have. Hold on. No, they're still in our faction. We're just not super allied. Just allied, just not super allied. Not bad. They're still attacking like crazy. I love it. We've lost 700,000. We've killed off not that many guys. How many, how many did we lose to the Swedes? Less than 68,000. Not bad. 
Let me guess, we don't have air superiority. I do that. Let's see, Boris. No more fighters. Not bad. You guys down here in Turkey doing an okay job. Doing a okay. Level 6. Very nice. Very, 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 very nice. Yeah. Do they have any manpower left? What's going on with the Turks? Oh, yeah. Also, Bulgaria did join the Allies. 37 divisions. No manpower. Very nice. Actually, since we're fighting them anyways. We did get the Cypher done for them, right? Yes, we did. Italy declared war on Greece. Oh. And now the Trigonton is fighting the Greeks. Okay. Well, whatever. We'll see what we can do. I'll send the tanks up here next to you. I think that'd be just a smarter thing to do. I take the rail, guys. I take the rail. After this one, though, we are going to go ahead and do... We need a research slot. Leningrad Polytechnic Technical Institute. As our foremost engineering school, the Leningrad Polytechnical Institute has long provided our country with engineers and industrial designers. We should expand it to further ensure that we will always have the best people available to fill any position, new position. And our growing industries. Not a bad idea. The German Serbian War. Huh. That's a lot of divisions in a single tile. Holy crap. Let's take Stockholm if you can. Keep these guys in place if you can. Let's go there. Like go up north, go around, just like cut them off or something. Something simple. Oh yeah, we are definitely struggling down here, aren't we? Especially in the uh, how they rose up or why they rose up or whatever. Hey, America's down here too. Look at that. Are we still doing okay-ish here? Ish? Yakov, still learning, still doing okay-ish. No, we're good, we're good. Why do they stop attacking? What if we were to attack? Can we do that? Maybe, maybe not. Not bad. Instead of attacking there, how would you just help out here? Yeah, that makes more, much more sense. Well, we'll see what happens. We'll see what happens. Keep an eye on that manpower, though. A lot of green, a lot of green. How much more do we need for Sweden? A lot more. Yeah, this is a mess. But it's our mess. Nice. And these guys will be cut off. Yay. Oh, do you have any upgrades? No, not really. Do you have any upgrades? Yes, commando. Huh. We're not really doing too many special forces there, so... Not too concerned of those level 4, 4, 4, 4, 4. Man, you're all level 4. That sucks. You're level 5, 5, 6, 5, 4, 5. Well, that's a little more uneven, but that's fine, whatever. Hello. There you go. Give him a little bit of love. And we still doing okay here? Yeah, I think we stopped attacking. Why did we stop attacking? Could you actually win there? It's, oh yeah, yeah, not bad, not bad. The game's definitely slowed down quite a bit. Actually, pretty drastically, to be honest with you. It feels like it's slowed down drastically. Okay, Japan, you better not do anything funky here. 25 divisions? Okay, maybe I was wrong about the AI. Maybe they are not <laughs> that much smarter. What the heck? They're still attacking up here too. How much more manpower do you have, Sweden? Oh, like 10,000. How do you have... How do they have that many divisions? Probably because of all the exile manpower. Power? Power? Uh, build up an airbase. Oh, you don't have an airbase. It's not going to be enough, though. Get some more cast going. We should have cast, right? No? Okay. Get some better bombers as well. Look how laggy it is. Jesus Christ. More skis, a little bit more love down there. Yeah, that's a bit extreme how much manpower they do get from all those people in exile. Oh, actually... Yeah, cut off the, the railroad. That'll be smart to do. There you go. Then again, just because there are a lot of divisions, I mean, they can do really that well. Yeah, we'll see. We'll definitely see. Over here, we're still doing okay-ish. Not bad. I don't want to throw too many more divisions up here, though. This is, this is ridiculous. The Swedish should not be getting this much manpower. Exploiting the AI for all this manpower? I mean, smart, don't get me wrong. Quite smart. Bro, just... It's so laggy. It's so laggy. Still doing okay against the Turks, though. 
He's got a lot of good six, 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 two, six. Not bad. And how's it going down here? It's going okay, okay. Honestly, for all you guys, just, just go in. There you go. Just, just destroy them all. For the best. It's literally for the best. The lap block. Oh. Well. Oh wow, look at that. Yeah, the French. Not bad. Anyone here? Anyone check on taunt? Uh, anyone else around here? No. People's front. So they're doing relatively okay this year, though. Yeah. Oh my god, look at the, how slow it has gotten. Wow, that's pretty... Why is it so slow? Is it because the AI is making so many divisions? No wonder it's we're not going that fast. Yeah, I don't know. I don't think Sweden should be able to get this much manpower. Or this many divisions. I mean, that's a bit extreme in my opinion. Yeah, that's so bad, though. Hmm. That is... Is someone making a... Is it like a nation in... South America that has that is making us lag so far? Central America? Because sometimes that was the case, because sometimes they just make so many divisions. No, 4 to 11. 4 to 30, no, no, no. That's a pretty normal amount that they would normally make. Oh, Brazil's got divisions, yuck. Um, Sweden should not have that many divisions. Supply wise, that, that just that doesn't make any sense. UK, not that many, no. 48, no. 67 seems pretty okay ish for those guys. Turkey? Uh, China literally is none, so that's, that's not the issue. Japan doesn't have that many either. So, I'm not sure why it's so laggy. Even the Raj doesn't have that many. Yeah, I'm not really sure. Because you can see on the top of the screen here, 13. It literally takes like, 10, like 5 seconds to get to the next you know, day. Or next hour, even. Just the next hour. So, I'm not sure why it's so laggy. Uh, I, as much as I want Sweden, I think we'll give it a little bit of time. I'll probably do this a little more off screen and try to figure out why it's so laggy. Um, and in, in addition, we'll also do the the Leningrad Polytechnical Institute focus. All right, everyone. So now it's November 1942, and actually we're at war with Manchukuo. Actually, Japan in general, just because they kept taking out Mongolia. Like our entire faction was at war with the Japanese, and they kept taking out M J Mongolia. So I, I, I'm like, stop taking out Mongolia. So we gotta kill them off now. So we're at war with them. We have no manpower, which is an issue. But uh, here's a peace deal. Um, I mess around with it a little bit because I don't think France really deserves Benelux at all. And without player the peace conferences, it just got super messy. So I just took everything for the most part. Yugoslavia is so just disgusting. Kosovo. Oh my god, Kosovo? Seriously, Kosovo? Bob Jones? Anyways, um, we didn't go to war with them too because they're allied with Italy and they kept taking over a lot of the territory here, which really sucks. Uh, how many more days? And I won't go to war with Iraq just because I want all the fuel in the world. So here's what we're going to do we'll take you guys. Come on back over so we don't lose the Suez Canal. That'd be really good if we don't lose that. And we're also fighting in Africa, so I'm, I'm trying to send my tanks back to before we get encircled here, which would really kind of suck if we did get encircled, but, you know, whatever. Um, head on here, too. But, yeah, overall, not too bad. Not too bad. Uh, we've done a couple of folks as well. Oh, peace. We peaced out with Cyprus. All right. Whatever. Also, I didn't realize that we had to do another focus before we get to this one, which was the means wage war. While the planes, guns, and tanks in the army often attract the highest attention and best look, look best on parades, the common soldier cares a lot more about the quality of his rifle and the comfortability of his boots. We have to acknowledge that these things are at least as important to waging war as any fighter plane or heavy howitzer. Decolonization of the British Empire. Okay, well, that's nice, guys. Soviet atomic bomb project? We get another operative slot. We need seven academies of scientists, huh? PC of mortar armaments. Get more breakthrough, get more artillery defense. Um, sure, why not? The humble mortar is becoming the main front, uh, or form of indirect fire support for our units. We must therefore endeavor to produce as many mortars of all sizes as possible and form a government agency whose only purpose is to do just that. Nice. Send me to focus, which quite a bit. Quite a bit. Quite a bit here. And also, we could be doing, like, air stuff here, but, um, I've already tried to, and they were just blowing up a lot of our planes, which really sucks, so. Um, we did get some cruiser hulls. We might just go with some more subs as well, just because they're really, really cheap to make. So we'll see what happens. And I don't mind actually just raiding the crap out of our enemies, so we'll see what happens. But please. Oh, thank God. We get more manpower. Oh, my goodness. Thank the Lord. Um, honestly, where did the Italian divisions go? You know what? There's sometimes it's better not to ask questions. Um, so just do that. And you're still trying to get down there, which is very nice. And we're doing well, quite well against Manchukuo, so I'm not super concerned about this. But Tibet joined... Communist China declared war on them. I don't know what happened to India. We, we did it really well actually with Afghanistan, and we're actually building up more like supply bases here and stuff. Um, but they capitulated really quickly. We actually had like 
It was really easy. We were, we were stalled here. We lost a lot of guys around here where my mouse is, around Herat and Baluchistan. But then around Peshawar, like there was like no division. So I'm like, okay, I guess we'll go in and any people's republic is here. All right then, not bad. But yeah, I hate the Japanese. Why why, why, why you kill Mongolia? We have only one Mongolia, so why'd you take my Mongolia? Actually, anything you take that towel, you can get some more railroad there. People's United Province, Dutch nation. Huh? Do I remember liberating them? We have a lot of resistance here though, which does kind of suck. But you know, whatever. Ooh. Well, we do have some more air doctrine, which is very nice. Thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. Oh, we have a little bit of manpower. Oh, it's so nice. We need more resources. We need more rubber. Honestly, we need a lot of rubber. Someone's been wounded. We need a lot of aluminum, too. But we can always work on aluminum for this stuff here, down here, too. Which is fine. Um, more bombs would not be bad. I do want to get some more aluminum, though. Wait, what? Canada's gone. Oh, hello, Canada. Oh, you're in the ally. Oh, the check on time. Wait, are you actually fighting? Oh. You know, we're loading things together. They're fighting the UK, too. Awesome. That's actually really nice. So after this, then we'll go kill off the Iraqis because why not? Sending tanks into mountains is always a great idea, right? Always a great idea. And fighting in Africa just sucks so hard, so I don't want to be bothered with that. So overall, not bad. Not bad at all. This could be going a lot oh, this could be going a lot better. This could be going a lot better. Uh do you have anything here, dude? Uh offensive, yeah. Clement Voroshilov, which I learned is what the the K V tanks were named after, so. Overall, we're not doing great. So let's do that. I'll hold. Supply is probably, honestly, not terrible. They're just fighting the mountains and stuff, and they just have so many bodies here. It's not funny. Um, just take the stuff if you can. Honestly, if you can go in here, that'd be great. Destroy those horses if you can. That'd be good. You're good. Go in. Uh, take the railroad. You need the railroad. you got to get the railroad. There you go. Uh, take this railroad, too, if you can. Very nice if you could. And overall, not too bad. Like, this could be so much worse. Give us some time. They did take the supply base that we did make over here, but it doesn't look like it's really helping them out too much now, is it? No, it is not. Ah, okay, finish these guys off very quickly. Yes, please. Yes, 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 yes. I'm going to assume that they don't have a lot of roads around here. Their supply bases and Oh my god, there are literally, literally no roads around here. Why? Also, I still wanted to go to war with the... Danes for some reason, even though after we killed them off, so I'm not sure why they wanted to do that, but whatever. Hey, but a fifth research slot, we're gonna start building a lot more naval stuff. Oh, they're invading the Benelux, god dang it. Um, that's not bad. Go start doing some more of this stuff too. Oh my god. Again. They actually took out half of France before we intervened here, so. Oh, you know what? This is one way to kill off all the enemies, so we'll let it happen for now. Not bad though, pretty good. Pretty not bad. Which I know is proper English, but whatever. Hey, good job, guys. Oh, it, oh that was one of the new animations in No Step Back. You literally have a head pop off. The helmet pop off of the uh, soldiers, so. Good job, guys. Let's get out of this god-awful conditions here. And do we have any railroads here, too? No, we don't. Oh, that's so nice to see we have no railroads here. Um, Here, do that. And then go from, like, here to there. You guys go down to here to there. Something like that. Oh, we'll see what happens. Uh, we could still use more rubber, though. Mm. And honestly, just roads. Roads in general. Just so we can move stuff a little bit faster. Oh, enemy agent turn. And they wanted to... Uh, wh what's up with the the Latvians wanting to go to war with everybody next to them? Um, if you want to about that, please go ahead. I don't understand why we're going to do that, but you know what? Let's give this stuff to build. That's all I really care about. Inspired. Yeah, go to war with the Poles. They probably won't reject us. Probably won't. They might, but probably won't. Oh, hello. God dang it. You pieces of doo-doo. Seriously? How do they invade through here? You're completely cut off. Well, that nah, makes up for that side. Right, whatever. Psychological warfare. And we'll some of this stuff, too. Not bad. Um, are you guys getting over there? Come on. Because we got to deal with that, too. Uh, you know what? Actually, it's probably best to come over here first. Also, Greece did go to war with the Italians. For some reason, don't ask me why. I have no idea why. Um... Also, we're almost done with our land auction too, so it's pretty good. We're missing oh, light tanks, strategic bombers. Yeah, not bad overall. Pretty nice. We're doing quite well down here as well. Can't complain too much. Even though I will find a way to complain. Oh, they're attacking us, look at that. Oh nice. Oh, that's pretty nice. Oh my goodness. Russian Far East. Oh my god, please don't. Please don't. 
Called him to bet. That's fine. You guys hanging out, having a good old time. Just wait for the next invasion. They're going to invade again. They're just going to invade again. We all know this. Um, naval commander. Might as well at this point. Uh, from carriers, naval reformer decides to battle. That's not bad. I don't want to wait to get that guy. That's okay. Ivan Yumashev, which sounds like a character in TNO, which I know for a fact he probably is. It's not bad. Also, I did give Junior this back this just because I didn't want to deal with the resistance. So, they by Veek. Or Peak. So, yeah. It is what it is. And we did give them a navy because they're so puppeted, so. We'll see what happens. Mm, you guys finish these guys off, please. Thank you. After that, you could go to war with Iran. You might as well. But I do want more, res more like rubber, but we're not going to be able to get any rubber anywhere, so. Yeah. Iran. Or just go to war with Kuwait. Actually, what faction are they in? What does it say? Coalition of Free Commonwealth States? Saudi Arabia? Alright, Saudi Arabia. You know, they're really communist as well. They don't even wait for Saudi Arabia. Check on top. We might kill them off. Switzerland. Yeah, no. Western Europe. No, we're good. Go in, guys. There's only 10 divisions here. Not bad. What's that to a PC of mortar armament? Um, reverse collectivization. Recover Alaska. I think we'll wait to do that one in another campaign. Primitive strike on Iran would not be bad. Lessons of war. Whichever plans we have before the war, we have largely not survived contact with the enemy. We must be open to the lessons this war is teaching us, and not stick to outdated doctrine. Only then can we stop our retreat and start to go back on the offensive. Totally. Totally, man. Totally. How many more days do we have to wait? Uh, March 4th, that's not bad. we got another month. That's pretty good. Things are doing quite well down here. Even though it's Africa. But it's a horn of Africa, so it's not terrible. Uh, since we're here anyways, you might as well build another supply point here. Japanese operative captured. Love that manpower, 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 manpower. I love it. Clement Voroshilov. I want supply. And you're going to give it to us. Just in case. Anything else here? The first command, cast. Ooh, volunteer Soviet group. We continue fighting in China's created a need to provide air support for our comrades in the Chinese Red Army. Sheng, Sheng Shi Kai has approached us about sending a volunteer group of pilots to planes. It requests about 50 bombers and 100 fighters to provide escort to them. This may prove useful for our pilots and allow us to test our new designs in action. Of course we can. Advisor cost, research speed, air speed gained daily is not bad either. Crew surveys, land air doctrine cost, go, air accidents just go down as well. Um, really? That's okay. That's not bad. We, we will use some cast. I'm going to go branch independence, though. Okay, that went up. Oh, whoops. Whatever. After that, heavy ships, not bad. Destroyers, get some cruiser armor. I would like to do a general attack, but we'll wait and see. Uh, we get some. Uh, we got some radar on here, which is not bad. Get some of that, and get some more infrastructure. Because we can. Actually, almost has a supply base, too. Not bad. Pretty good. So training, are you guys are on the border, let's go. Oh wait, is there independence guaranteed by... Oh, wait, oh. Well, I guess we had another faction to go to war with. Iraq joined the Allies, that's kind of what we wanted to do to see anyways. Go force the attack. Nice. You guys are there. Um, we're going to start making that ship probably immediately. If we... Oh, we have no naval XP, god dang it. <laughs> Heavy ships... Oh, those are going to suck. I do like the check marks they put, did put on here, though. Oh, hopefully it's a little bit cheaper, though, now. Nope, nope, no, it's not. Okay. <laughs> Three. We only have so much here. Fire control's fine. Seven. It says cost five. Does it really cost five? No, it costs two. I'm not going to complain about that at all. Yeah, battle cruiser, battle cruiser, armor three, battleship armor three. Not bad. Not great, still. Two. And if we throw on at least one of these guys. Well, we gotta start making this one immediately, so we have some sort of navy here. Goodbye, thank you. Honestly, these guys suck too, but we need something here. So. And we're gonna build them in Leningrad, maybe? I don't want them to be put anywhere else, so. Let's call it our Congos, but we're gonna be building Leningrad. But Soviet Air Group, why not? We could use more that war support, why not? And grab two of these, because we need all that stuff, too. Ooh, and fuel? No, we're good on fuel. Uh, rubber? Oh my goodness, we need so much more rubber. Lots and lots of rubber extraction. That'd be great, 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 great. Doing okay. In the next episode, we'll take out the Japanese fully, as well as the 
UK. I probably got a campaign, probably. I mean, look at that. That's, they're insane. They're going nuts. I love it. Oh, Venezuela is in the faction, huh? Japan has lost half a million to the U.S. We've cut off about a quarter million of them, too. Not bad. Is it time for a counterattack? Um, not yet, probably. Probably not yet. Clement is doing okay. Uh, Army XP-wise, do you have everything? Yes, you do. That's not bad. 20 combat. We're still using 20 combat divisions here. Are we really using you guys? Really? Not that great. Huh. Uh, we're not using engineers yet? What? Oh, my goodness. Oh, my goodness. I am so behind on this stuff. Cavalry? We should be more than fine with that. That's fine. Go and do that. That's fine. Good. We're getting invaded. Russian Far East. Oh, boy. Yeah, no, you're not allowed to lose. Kill them off. Yeah, don't lose Vladivostok. If anything, do not lose it. If you lose it, oh my god, you lost it. You piece of garbage. Someone will be shot for this? Oh, you bet they will be shot. I'll personally shoot them myself. Yeah, no, do not let them move. You're going to go right. I don't care if you get encircled. Screw the Japanese, man. Look what they did to us. Look what they did. Look what they did to India, too. <sighs> Trying to fight two naval powers kind of sucks. But over here... It goes good. It's good. Yeah, we don't have a lot of fighters. Um, well, I'll give you some. Uh, train for now. And we're going to get a lot more than that. Naval bombers will be super, 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 super important. Iraq. Don't really care about that right now. Give them a day to process. Fill it out. Maybe a little bit more. Ooh, there goes Iraq. Nice. I kind of doubt they'd have any naval bombers over there, too, but whatever. Nice. Good stuff, good stuff. More fighters? That's oh, I mean, that's what we really need here, fighters. Everyone train, and let's do lessons of war. Followed up with... We get more organization, too. Uh, Kamosol, Patriotic of all of Russia's... Uh, organization of the Partisans. Even more operatives, that's not bad. Oh, uh, sure, that's fine, we'll go to war Sweden. Smersh? That's not bad, we can try that one. We must make it clear to every single citizen that spies and enemy agents are present everywhere, and that any idle talk can give the enemy a crucial piece of information that gives them an advantage. Pretty much, man, pretty much. Alright, so we got a lot of that stuff done. It's 43 right now. Let's get some more construction speed, because we could always use more of that. And we're done with our air doctrine. Yay! Oh, we got blood of a sock. Is that the Spanish? Yep, yes it is. Well, that sucks. Go and reinforce the area if you can. Malta. Actually, we need some more air bases here, too. Uh, do that. I'll do that, too. 78, not bad. Good. Take that supply base. They're fighting through Tibet, which is not bad. So this is going to be a giant slug fe slug fest through here. Just kind of suck, but whatever. Ah, they did not guarantee them. Good. Get some over here. We're done over here, too. Nice. Not bad. Um, I'm going to abandon this area for the French. I'd rather take out Iran right now. So, this is a really bad idea to do it like this, but whatever. Are we just find anybody just so that we can get through this quickly? Oh, oh yeah, Switzerland. Oh, I forgot about Switzerland. Oh, since you guys are not doing anything anyways. Did you get invaded again? Oh my god, yes I did. Look at that. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. This is why you don't trust the French. You never trust the French. They've almost lost Paris again. Um, anything else up here we really care about? Mm, not too much. But yeah, next episode will be the last one in this campaign probably just because... Yeah. That's all I can say is just yeah. Uh, come over here. Branch out a little bit more. Nice. You guys are down here, which is fine. Don't really need you down there, though. You know, maybe in the med, which there should be nothing around here. Well, this guy's pretty good. No accessible regions. What do you mean? Oh, we need military access to the Greece. Greece. Oh, in the Civil War too. Ask for not for, ask for ducking rights. We can say it on tomorrow as well. There you go. Well, with that getting docking rights, you should be able to move through there, right? Oh, come on! We get the docking rights, and then the Romanians get it. Are you kidding me? Nice. Smirsh? I'll do a smirsh. Yeah. Do not blab, please. Oh, can you... Can you move? 
Can we get military access? I don't know why you took over this area. I was going to give it to Greece, but whatever. Now you should be able to move. Now you should be able to move, right? Thank God. Oof. Japanese operative captured. Very good. Did we win here? Yes, we did. Hello. Do you have an upgrade? Oh, yeah. Eh. Sorry. Oh, visibility. Not, that's not bad. Visibility. You probably join the allies, which is fine. I don't really care. Uh, how, how are we doing over here? Oh, my God. That's disgusting. Honestly, with you guys, come over to the Far East. This is stupid, and I don't like it. Honestly, they're going to not do anything here. Can we just go in? Do the best to go in. I mean, you got to grind them down to nothing, son. Grind, grind, grind. All right, so anything else is fully three. Get some more output. No, get some more of that first. Oh, more rubber would be very good as well. Uh, grab some of that rubber. Two, just in case. We might not even use it, but it's better to get it than not have it, so... Push them out this way first. How well, strong is Japan, really? Uh, the cancel only is fine, whatever. A lot of manpower, quite a bit of fuel. Not a lot of trains, but a good enough amount. Under 33 divisions. We'll see. We know quite a bit about them, though, which is pretty good. Naval stuff. Yeah, this guy's... Gonna be important for us. Alright, let's see. Are we around the borders? Yes? Gonna get another person to kill us off? Yes? Fine. A lot of green, but we'll see how that goes for us. A lot of green, nice. Oh, they're doing force defense. Well, that's kind of nice for them. Look, that's very nice for us. Look, oh, look at that. There goes those horses. Goodbye, horses. Oh, now they're not, well. They're no longer doing force defense, I guess. In some areas here. Sucks over here, though. It really does suck. But we're pushing into here, so that's most important. Yeah, our bin is going to be most important to get, guys. Oh, nice. Oh, nope. Okay. They wanted this war. They were taking out Mongolia, not Manchuria. Mongolia. What were we supposed to do? And what is America doing? Why are you not taking out these islands? You lost Hawaii! America! <laughs> oh, no, not even once, America. Not even once. Alf Landon, why? Alf Landon, you failure. Your rock has been called in. Oh, wow. Oh, no. Watch out. How many Swiss people do we get rid of with all that force defense? Eh, only 52,000, not that much. It's fine. Everyone come in here. I literally blow up every single bit. Oh, we can see this now. That's kind of nice. They don't have that many guys. Oh, if we could do a naval invasion, that'd be so good. So good. Well, we'll see that for the next episode, though. God dang Japanese. Go, boys, go! Hmm. You guys are over here too, which is not ideal. Well, you might as well do something over here, then I guess. Hey, we got Swiss. Now I'm thinking of cheese. Oh, and land auction? Or air auction? Yeah, look at that. Nice. More concepts for recon and better reinforce rate. Awesome. Air auction. We're done with that too. Cool. Um, so then we're going to do Smirsh. I'm going to do probably a couple more upboxes off screen just so we can keep moving through this. Because I do want to get through this stuff, so we got to beat the allies. we got to beat the Japanese. And all sorts of funky stuff. So, after this one, we'll probably do barrier troops. Yeah, now. Battle's often chaotic, and it is understandable that sometimes soldiers lose contact with higher ed HQ. Which institute used well beyond the front to collect these stragglers and point them back towards the fighting and arrest any of those who betray the comrades by trying to avoid their duty? We read this one as well. Organization of the Partisans. After being overrun, many soldiers left behind enemy lines chose to continue the fight instead of humiliating captivity. Together with the peasants and the workers of the occupied territories, they have continued the fight against Invader. We must send them support so they can tie down even more enemy units. Military political advisors. Keep commissars organized. Poli military political advisors. Um, I'm not sure what we're going to do here. The glory of the Red Army. I'll let you guys decide. Do we do commissars? Or do we do military political advisors? I'll let you two decide. Or let you guys decide which one we should do with that one. The road to life. Oh, that's not bad. Soviet time of bomb. Merge tank and material plants. Why not? Tanks and artillery is probably the best suited for mass production, making use of economy of scale. We should therefore force consolidation of tank and material producers to capitalize on this. And, ooh, the Bukharan line. I like that. We'll probably go with that one eventually, but. Expand the Red Fleet? 
They're at least pathetically weak compared to the navies of Imperial's powers. We must make an expansion of national priority and transpolar flights. Our bravest pilots are just beginning to prove that daring routes across the Arctic are possible. By using unexpected shortcuts like these in our planning of aerial warfare, we will be able to surprise the enemy. But if you enjoyed the video, leave a like, subscribe if you're new, check out my Discord link in the description below, and I'll see you when we will capitulate both the Japanese, hopefully, as well as those evil, evil allies. Thanks for watching, and have a great, great, great rest of your day.